right there. Today, the students are doing a mock murder scene, which uh, they've done one mock murder already early in the year, the first semester. They've actually done a mock auto recovery from a bank robbery, and this is their second mock homicide. This one's more complicated. We have three bodies here and three teams. The three teams are gonna process it just like Des Moines PD crime scene unit would do. They're taught to document, do the photos, videotape, the collection of the evidence, and to take that evidence, secure it, and to transport it to the lab for future processing. I'm a photographer, so I take the, first off we start off with the overall pictures. So first we make sure the scene's safe and clear from anyone, and we start off with the overall pictures and just look around, and if we see anything, we take pictures of anything we see. It could be a speck of dust in the scene, and then they'll come through and actually placard the evidence with the yellow placards, and then we go back through and take the pictures again. And then after we take the pictures, they collect the evidence. So the pictures are the main part of it because it's, you can't lie when you have photographic evidence of it. It's good that you ask questions because that's what I want you to do and you always do that, Andrew, so I appreciate that. Today we're finding uh, shell casings and then uh, we found hair because we're, we're trying to recover hair and fibers, which the biotech uh, program at Central Campus, so they're going to be uh, helping us really identify the victims and their blood. We can even figure out the type of blood, which is cool. They're going to be our lab. So when my students collect the blood samples today from these three victims, we're going to give those blood samples to Mrs. Kane, who is the instructor, and she's going to do the blood work and help us type and match the blood. And she's going to work on the fibers and the hairs which my students are taking off of the bodies as evidence so that we can do comparison for hairs, fibers, and blood. So it's a combination between our class, our forensic and law enforcement class, and the biology class. I'm more of the forensics type of person, and it's a really great opportunity. I mean, we get so much college credit, we get 16 college credits, and then plus we're working with, I mean, the most experienced people, a part of the DMPD, and, um, you know, with people like Tech Gord and Captain Willis and all of the people that they've uh, worked with in their years of... You can put it all in one evidence bag. I've always had a passion of being in law enforcement, some sort of law enforcement. Um, my uncle's in law enforcement, he's been a big role model. And it was kind of a lucky thing. I just went to my counselor and I was out of classes and she asked me what I wanted to do and I said, police officer. And she said, there's one spot left open in this class. And I thought, I'll give it a try, free, free credit. And it sounded fun and it's been a great experience. I love this class and it's a great class. The students and I get along really great and they become a team with me. So I am very proud of my students. I am very proud. So I, I feel fulfilled for doing this job because after all the years I worked at Des Moines PD for 31 years doing this work, this has actually fulfilled me more than working my crime scene duties at the PD. So I love my students.